21. <laughs> Apparently, I'm out of the group now. I got to be Max's assistant. Yes. Okay. Look at this. And you, and got, and you got your Erlenmeyer flask yeah. right here. <laughs> and it looks very good. Science. He's got the science. Bunsen burner the going. Science. You got a weird lineup for us today. Yeah. A weird lineup. We're going with the weird theme. You know the expression, let's get weird? Nope. That's what all this stuff is. Well, now you do. And let's get this party started here. A 300-year-old Mexican statue of Jesus was undergoing some art restoration. And in the process, anthropologists took an x-ray of the artwork. That's all hunky-dory, right, guys? Well, the x-ray showed that the Jesus wow. statue had real human teeth in its mouth. The way Christ got his choppers is a mystery, but researchers say it may be part of a tradition in which body parts were donated to the church. Interesting. Hmm. Huh. Isn't that weird? And you don't even really see it in the statue because his mouth isn't even open that much. But right. real, so real, real teeth. teeth in there. I would, and 300 years old, I feel like it would take a lot of work to put the teeth in there and then yeah. close the mouth around them. You were mentioning you thought it might be something mafia I think it's like related. A mobster. Some sort of mob like. <laughs> a mobster from well, 300 curious, years I mean, ago. If, if it's standard that they just x ray everything anyway. It is standard that they x ray, but something like this, very un 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 unorthodox. Not yeah. Not on there, but. <laughs> It's very strange, to say the least. Moving along, there's for you. Stay in Mexico too far. here. Uh, yeah. Check this thing out. A huge crack formed near the town of Erosio. It runs nearly two thirds of a mile and is 30 feet deep by 15 feet wide. Geologists attribute this giant split in the earth to a 5.0 magnitude earthquake that hit earlier this week, and they coupled that with rainfall from earlier this week. That was wow. very, very heavy. Well, we were just talking about California had a 6.0 magnitude earthquake. Yeah. This one was one full lower, and I mean. It just shows what, but it was that, that happened earlier this right. month, and mm -hmm. then you had the rainfall on top of it. Right. So they're not exactly positive how that actually formed, but they think those two things okay. coupled together okay. had that happen. And you got one more for us. One more for us. Nature, you scurry. You so scurry. Look at this. <laughs> In Kenya, a crocodile Whoa. and three lions go head to head. The battle deciding who gets to eat a nearby elephant carcass. Nope. Oh. Check out this terrifying video. Lions have a full fledged attack on the croc. In the end, the crocodile does concede. And the cats enjoy their fancy. Not exactly so a like, fair fight. So it's not. It's seems not. like though that the lions are attacking the lion only for the purpose of the of, of or the crocodile of protecting their their their, their feast. food. They want oh, yeah. their fancy feast. I was gonna say because we, we saw that fancy feast is for cats, <laughs> yeah. not lions. That's a cat. <laughs> you you call that a cat? <laughs> well, because we we'd seen the photos from years ago down in the Everglades of like the crocodile and the python. Uh, yeah, the one thing I think that would make that scarier is if a shark just jumped out of the water. Just Sharknado welcome 3. Welcome to my nightmares. Oh, <laughs> that. That it's a Paris science. I love it. Max, thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't go away. Much more coming up in two minutes.